Well, the conference is sadly coming to an end. And if you're anything like me, the only solace is in looking ahead to next year's IAC, which will be taking place in the beautiful city of Antalya. Let's go chat with the Turkish Space Agency to find out what they have in store for us. It's very important for Turkey to host IAC in the sense that it's going to increase the prestige level for Turkey in this field. Uh, it's very, very important from that perspective. Uh, secondly, we're going to be motivating our young engineers, young people to get into this field, take them into the STEM education area. Thirdly, we will essentially have international collaborations, hopefully more of them, when it comes to the industry and also the academia. Turkey is actually a, a force, growing force in the science and technology area. Especially in space, Turkey has done a lot of investments. So it's actually becoming a growing power in space. We want to be a part of a lot of uh, you know, exploration projects and a lot of the uh, commercial aspects of space. We have a lot of projects that's happening right now. Uh, the lunar, lunar project that we have, the first one uh, done by Turkey. We have constellation projects and we have in-space transportation projects. So my message is come to Antalya, okay? We're open to collaboration with every uh, country that wants to collaborate with Turkey in space. Antalya is a beautiful location, a lot of history, a lot of beautiful natural resources and, and uh, great infrastructure when it comes to tourism. Uh, the theme for Antalya is the, the world needs more space. Uh, we mean a lot of things with this. The first one is humanity needs more space in the sense that space technologies are good for humanity, like GPS, uh, even space colonization eventually, in space fabrication, these are very, very important things. But secondly, uh, unifying power of space for the sake of humanity is also very important. We want to make sure that every nation is involved in space and Antalya will achieve that. And thirdly, the world needs more space because we're essentially damaging the world too much. The world really needs more space. That's, that's the last point I'd like to make about that.